Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Walking Dead, Episode 1, A New Day for the PC. I'm Dave McCauley. we got to find some pills. Let's do this. All right. Got an energy bar. What is she looking at? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Yep, it needs batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try <laughs> to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Well, they look like two double A's, so you might as well look for those. Easter egg hunt. The IT guy. All right. What else is there around here? I will be talking to that dude in a second. Whoa, okay. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. <laughs> My people. Oh, a battery. Got one battery. Time to look for another one. Remember them very well. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Let's talk to him. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Fuck yeah. yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... It's true. She seems to be handling herself all right. Well, she she's doesn't know. She's a girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is That's gone. very true. Kids are affected by things like this. Like, it really fucks them up. <clears throat> What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. What's well, a zombie apocalypse? I'm not sure they made it. Yeah. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Exactly. Well, you just don't know. Oh, man. Keep are burping. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. I got freckles. Lee, you got a second? Sure. That's what I have. Oh, man. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? You, uh, you know what? Fuck you. I would have tried to have done it. It happened pretty fast. Yeah. Yes. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. You went there fast we enough. I went and saved your boy. You'd think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Come on, Kenny. Kenny! Gotta look for this battery. There's gotta be another one around here somewhere. There's an energy bar. Oh, man. 
man. I don't know if I should actually go out here. Why is she following me? You stay inside, little girl. Come on, Clementine, you stay. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Was this his family store? Is that the whole deal? They own this place? This door leads to the back alley. Must have been. A first aid kit. Yeah. Let's grab it. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Aw. Actually, that's pretty unfortunate. It's not lucky. Would have been cool if there was something in there to use. Move the pallet. Is that a stick or a cue? Pool cue? What? A walking What's stick? What's that? This was my dad's cane. Oh, cane, yeah. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. This cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Yeah. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> Excuse How me. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> kids no you don't have a family <clears throat> what are your parents he really doesn't want to well, talk my about mom his is a doctor and my dad wife. is an engineer those are good jobs what's your job I uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um, social studies yeah like that mm-hmm you didn't answer my question all right, a little further. <laughs> I'm avoiding it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, let's get this done. That's a good girl. Oh! Oh, Are no. Okay? I hurt my finger. Oh, thank God there's a first aid kit. A little. You sit here as I go to the Find first aid bench. kit. Alrighty, here we go. Now there's a use for it. <clears throat> How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. I do have a band-aid. How do I, uh... Oh, okay. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Here we go. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please.
Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Uh, Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah, I kind of took the other walkie-talkie, remember? There's nothing in there, or what's this? Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Yeah, it's in the drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Gimme, gimme. That's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, everything's done. All right. So, this is a photo. Pick it up. Family photo. His brother was a doctor. Find anything? He must really not like himself for what he's done, whatever that may be. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You do? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. What? This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Holy Atlanta. Holy shit. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Oh, you can see why. You Come on. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Yes. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Yeah, I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. She'll remember that I trusted her. I'm trying to do a good run, if you can't tell. You know, I'm trying to do is Because I hate being the bad guy in games. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just can't do it. Her parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or protector, at least. It's a lot of br blood, bro. Trying to be one hell of a hero. Let me guess, it's locked? It's yep. locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Alright. There's nothing else in here from what I can see. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? No. I... Uh, why are you asking me that? Because she overheard your conversation. That lady said you killed someone. Yes. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen and you do things and you can't explain them. Which is the truth. Let's, uh, Sorry if you heard this. my sister yelling at my dog. <laughs> and you hear my dog going crazy. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, he's being a dickhead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Perfect he example. 
It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, sorry about that. Just had to uh, shut my dogs up. Well, especially Weston. He was seeing stuff and kept barking at the front door. Here we go. What do you think about all this? That's kind of messing up now. What the fuck? There we go. What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple oh, of no. bodies out of the office. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My family. Did you know anybody here? <clears throat> yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Oh, no. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn. I still gotta get okay? those pills. I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, that's what I want to do. Got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right. What's this? Another energy bar? Could really use just another battery. The game keeps freezing up on me. It's not ATM. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. All right. What was that? No, nothing else. Maybe there's a battery somewhere else. All right, this is kind of getting to me. We'll be right back. All right, sorry about all the pauses, guys. This was getting a little jittery in the gameplay, and uh, my dogs were going off, but we should be good now. See, it's getting a little jittery again, but I'm just going to deal with it. So let's talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Want to step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Yeah, let's do this. Sure. 
Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Going outside. Shut the fuck up, bro. Whoa, that guy's a fucked up face. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all I care about. Because they're zombies. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. And then they go, Hmm, <laughs> I'm full. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. We better shut the fuck up. Right, that's the door. Let's look around. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Oh, we can distract them. Oh, it's not a universal. You can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Punch in the code for the TV. It's universal. Oh, it is All universal. Right, so Good. Those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Wow, it's a lot of codes. Nerd! Get them nerds! No. Well, I'm a nerd. Done, Doug. Come on. All well, that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Distract them. Then we can go out and look around. Got a few of them to take notice. <laughs> <laughs> but not enough. Hmm. that hardware store did you guys try to get in there and get weapons I did but it was too risky not a bunch of guys showed up and they tried and what happened I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there oh it sucks look at the one trapped over there Better turn oh. us, huh? that's your brother Oh no. Oh shit. What? Yep. Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Yes. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and they'll cheat up and shut up. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I've I'll got a picture. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Nope. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. The TVs. Yeah, there's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. No shit. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. Let's try this. Open sesame. That won't work. Wait, what? I was oh. <laughs> kidding. It's universal. Not that universal. I know, Doc. That's awesome. 
It's a combination lock. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. What? And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. So we can't even get out if we wanted to. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. All right, so we want to break that glass. All right, let's go back inside. Actually, let's talk to Doug for a second. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Talk to Doug again. Oh, there's a brick. I can't reach that brick. Doug can. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Alright, I need to grab that brick. I also need to, uh... Alright, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Bam! You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Kind of forgetting about those pills, but, I mean... Wait, how the fuck are we... What? Oh, there's the back way. I guess. Yeah. This also gets annoying with Telltale games. It's the jittery and the the jitterness. It's kind of like. Yeah. Did you see that? I don't know. Sure did. Gets to me. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play The Walking Dead, Episode 1, A New Day for the PC. Depending on how you felt about this episode, like or dislike, if you felt it was one of your favorite episodes, hit that favorite button. And if you haven't already done so and you like what I do, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Other than that, guys, I'm Dave McCauley. I'll see you all next time.